Hey y'all, it's your boy, John Atala, and welcome to episode three of the Big Boy Basics. In this video, we're gonna go over which split do I recommend for building muscle, and we're gonna compare all of them and see the pros and cons for each split so you can find one that works for you. Now, disclaimer as usual, almost all splits do work with consistency. So these are just personal recommendations, what I find works for most people. Now, you do already know what my favorite split is, but we're gonna do this video anyways. I am going to recommend one other split, but everything in the series can apply to your specific split that you enjoy. So stick around for this series. Now to compare all the basic splits for the weeklies, you know, you have the full body where you start out with three days a week. You could do a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and you're going to hit each body part three times a week. The second split, the upper lower split, you have an upper day. So it's going to have all your upper body parts. You have a lower day, all your lower body parts rest, and then you repeat upper lower. Now with push pull legs, you're going to be at the gym six times a week, having a push day for all your push muscles, a pull day for all your pull and then legs, and then you repeat the process. And then you have the row split for five times a week to hit every single body part only once a week. So let's start with why not the row split. The major con for the split, which why I don't recommend to people, is you're only hitting the body part once a week. I'm not like a huge optimization guys, but only hitting the body part once a week and putting all your volume in one day is just not something I recommend to anyone. After six sets of an exercise for body part per day, how much quality volume are you really getting? I'd bet you can get more volume, more quality volume on a separate day if you gave the muscle just a little bit rest. And other problem with this split is you need five days a week in the gym minimum, which is just a ton of time if you're just starting out in the gym. Most of my training was only three to four days a week in the gym and I made great results with that time frame. So the bro split is a definite no in my book and not recommended for me. And then we have why not push pull legs. Now it does have some pros. You do hit muscle groups twice a week, which is good. You can have short workouts if programmed properly. If you wanna see how I do it, I have a video here of how I would do a simple push pull leg split for beginners. Now the cons though, if you're in the gym for six days a week, which is just completely unnecessary for most people, unless you're like an avid enthusiast or even a bodybuilder per se, it's just way too much time for the normal person and you don't need this much time in the gym to make gains. Plus, you're going to skip leg day because you're a bum and then you can just do your push day and your pull day and you do that twice a week so you're in the gym four times a week and then you can skip your leg day and just be fine. So don't be a bum and don't skip your legs. And now a split I'd actually recommend is the upper lower split. A pro for this split is you hit the muscle groups twice a week, which is good. And then you're only in the gym four times a week. You have your upper day, lower day rest, upper day, lower day rest. And now with the upper lower split, it's actually very easy to program a strength day and a volume day if you care about strength work. One upper day could be more focused towards strength. Another lower body day could be focused towards strength. And then the other two days could be volume days. It's very easy to split up. I personally don't know why this split isn't more common among recreational lifters because it puts you in the four days a week and it's very easy to split up. The only real con to the split is it's not my favorite. That's all I got. So why do I recommend full body to start out? You can hit the muscle group three times a week. So you're getting minimal fatigue throughout the week. It puts you in three days in the gym in the beginning, which is super easy and convenient for most people. You can make it three times a week. You get to go hard every single day on each body part and really push your limits. And then it's easy to progress with for years. If you graduate, let's say from a three day week full body program, the easiest thing to add more volume is just add an extra day. So now you can have Monday, Tuesday rest, th Thursday, Friday rest. And then you can keep doing this till you know, you're a super elite lifter if you wanted to. It's very easy to add more volume over time because you can just add in another day. The other thing I like about the full body split is let's say you do miss a day Let's say you have something random on Wednesday on your workout. You're still hitting all your body parts throughout the week. You'd make Monday. You might be busy middle week, middle of the week and make Friday. And you still at least got, let's say, six sets per body part per week. While that might not be optimal, at least you didn't completely miss a workout for that body part. Let's say on like a, let's say on the bro split, you know, you missed your back day. Your back didn't get touched all that week if you couldn't make up the time in the gym. That's why I don't like that split because it doesn't give you room for error and we know we are humans and there's going to be errors and our schedules are going to change. In this series, we are going to program a three day full body split, but all these lessons in this series, you can apply to any split you enjoy. So please don't think these lessons only apply to this specific split. You can take all this knowledge and form it to how you need to do for yourself. And remember when you're lifting, ain't nothing but a peanut. 
by Ronnie Lightweight Peanut Coleman. And that's it for this video. Um, next, we're going to go over isolations versus compounds. How I personally program most of them in my programs, you know, the pros and cons to each and where they are suited best for lifting. If you guys enjoyed the video, please check out the playlist I'm putting together right now for this. And also leave down your favorite lifting quotes in the description. I want to put them at the end of every video. My ebook is also free in the description. Peace.